Hey there, Cancers. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a general message. So if it fits with your situation, go ahead and take it. If not, try a different message and see if that one fits for you. These readings are not actually date, zodiac, sign, or even gender specific. Also, if you have to tweak some of the messages or completely swap roles, please feel free to do so. We're going to start with the Work Your Light Oracles and see what we got. Universe, Angel Team, what are the messages for Cancer at this time? Please and thank you. Oh, by the way, you guys, the merch is in. If you're interested, just scroll down. Play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Somebody here could be a Joker fan. Why so serious? Some of you guys are thinking about doing something fun, but you're not sure about something. Looks like the divine is saying, go ahead and do it. This could even be about vacationing. Especially if it's like at a beach or going out for a ladies night. As long as you guys aren't getting drunk to the point where, you know, you're not fully in control of your vessel. Like something else can hop up in you and have a human experience for a little bit, right? As long as you're not getting like blackout drunk and doing stupid shit, you're going to be fine. You can have a couple drinks. That's okay. Unless you're in recovery, I'll leave that up to you to decide because that's not up to me. That That's between you, yourself, and your creator. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody's like, oh, no, I shouldn't drink. I shouldn't drink. A drink or two, as long as you can handle that without, like, getting stupid, you're going to be fine. I don't know. I feel like that's more so somebody that's worried about spiritual um, takeovers. Ooh, look at that. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Why? This feels like girls' night. Guys, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It feels like girls going out for a couple drinks, maybe dance a little bit. Or even coming over to hang out at each other's house, you know, having a couple drinks, dancing. Let's do something fun. This could also be an invitation, guys. I don't know exactly how it's going to resonate for you, but this definitely feels like an invitation and you guys are hesitating to take it. Like, I don't know if I should do that. That's not really something I'm used to or, oh, wow, that's different, right? The divine wants you to shift your energy a little bit. It feels really positive, too. Like it's going to positively impact you or things are going to go better than expected. There's a portal here, too. You see that doorway? There's a portal. Most portals lead to ascensions or a whole lot of information. You walk through portals and your life feels different. You know how you say, oh my gosh, that feels like it happened lifetimes ago. That's because you've gone through several portals since that happened. Let's see what other messages we have for Cancer. Is there anything else from this deck? Guys, I don't think we're going to get anything else from this deck. Let's just see at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> yeah, initiation. Rite of passage, crossing through the threshold. And there's that doorway that I was channeling. And look at how bright it is on the other side. Okay, so now I see why you guys are working so hard. You're in a dark place, a cold place. It could be awkward, it could be scary. Some kind of like a fearful energy here. That's why you need to shift your energy. Some of you guys are scared of this rite of passage. You're scared of this initiation. You're scared of this change. It's so big. It's so drastic. And the divine is like, but it's going to make you happy. <laughs> Let's get into the Naked Heart Tarot and see what that deck wants to bring to the table. Guys, don't worry. There's no like nudes or anything. It's actually spirit animals on this deck. I don't think YouTube would even allow something like that. And quite honestly, that makes me uncomfortable as a reader. So I'm not going to do it to you guys. 
All right, for Cancer, please and thank you, Spirit. What have we got here? For Cancer, please and thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. The Ace of Cups, look at that. There is an invitation. For sure. The divine is asking you to grab on to this invitation. Isn't the, the leg of an octopus covered in suction cups? Definitely grab on to this cup, this invitation here. It could be opening your heart. Some of you guys, this is a heart chakra awakening. Opening your heart to something or someone new. And it could feel like that's a big wave. That's going to stir up some emotions a little bit. But I just feel like it's needed for some reason for you guys. Yeah, look, it brings in balance, temperance. It's almost like you guys have been asking for something to change, asking for something specific, and the divine needed you to be balanced so they could bring it in. You are the water sign, but this is temperance is fire, Sagittarius energy. It's also water, though. It's the, it's the combination of water and fire, actually. There's angelic energy here. There's healing energy here. Patience was needed, yes, but it brings in that balance, that stability. Logic between, or sorry, balance between logic and reasoning, you know? Some of you guys might be worried that you don't trust yourself. But yeah, and then the Ten of Swords in reverse comes out. You're letting go of that sabotage. You're not letting that form of sabotage sabotage you. There's something that you were doing that was hurting you in the long haul. And you're regaining balance. You're letting that go. Rebuke it, right? Rebuke it. Yeah, Ace of Swords. No more Ten of Swords. That's a no. That... Sword is pointing downwards. You're rebuking it. No. There could be somebody around you that's, um, you, you just, you can't. <laughs> okay, for whatever reason, you cannot anymore. And that's okay. You're recognizing where you're comfortable, where your boundaries are. And you're being cool, calm, and collected about creating the balance in your life, life or reestablishing the balance in your life. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the innocence of pentacles. There is something new here for you guys. It feels like a reward. It feels like a gift from the divine for all your hard work. There could even be somebody around you who's pregnant. Or this is something new that you've been trying to manifest. You've been trying to work with, work on. Look at that, the sun card. Acceleration, ascension, breathing light back into you. When you plant these seeds, you're making sure they're getting enough light. I love how now we have a balance. We've got all of, we've got everything now. You have your cup, your sword, your pinnacle, the ethers, and the wand, the fire energy within temperance. This pentacle brings in magician energy. Because now you have everything you need in order to move forward. Guys, I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. Hold on, I'm getting another message here. That sun card. That's lighting, bringing light to a situation. Some of you guys are now seeing an opportunity. Where before, you didn't recognize the opportunity, so you would kind of like sabotage the opportunity and be like, man, why didn't I see that? Or some of you guys are simply 
grabbing a hold of your emotions, not letting your emotions control you as much. When emotions get high, you're taking time. You're taking time to establish the reasonable, the logistical, the balance. Making a balanced option. And when you take your time to really look at something, there's an opportunity, there's something new, something solid with the potential for longevity appearing to it to you now. Interesting. Interesting. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. <laughs> I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you're interested in the merch, just scroll down. And until the next time that I see you, beautiful people, mwah, stay beautiful and namaste.